We're back. Round two. Hi. Jump on. <laughs> the first one, I lost your sound halfway through, everyone's telling me. So jump on this one and let's get started again in today's Stand Together. Jump on. Say hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> hey, if watching the replay, no one could hear me. Um, so just talking to myself. Kind of like what I do during the middle of the night. Just talk to myself in my dreams, out loud. <laughs> Jump on. Good morning. Hey, so where were we? We're talking about investing in you. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about investing in you, right? Now, here's what I said to you. The first part of today was this, is that if you're ever going to ask anybody to invest in your product, your service, your business, or anything that you're doing, you're going to ask them to do that, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a really good relationship with investing in yourself. And what I notice as time goes on is that more and more and more people, they're not investing in themselves, especially if they start to have family and friends, as I mentioned to you guys around it. You start to have people around you. You start to have a life where it's all about everybody else and you start to not invest money and not invest time in yourself. And if you're not going to do that, you start to become incongruent because you're saying to other people, buy into my company, buy my products, buy my service, or, or buy into my dream and work for me or uh, give me money and invest, but you're not investing in yourself, right? So what I was talking about here is these books, right? And I was saying, for those of you that might have heard it, I don't know when I cut off, but I'm saying that it's not just about buying a book, right? And I was given Wayne Dyer's example over here. It's not about buying the book for twenty two ninety five from Wayne Dyer, you know, to, which is the power of intention. It's that you've got to buy the book, but then you've got to have the time to invest in yourself to say, I'm going to read this. I'm going to give myself the time to invest into, into me. So listen, if you're ever going to get anybody to invest into your company, to buy your products, to buy your services, the reality is real simple. You need to be somebody that will first invest into yourself, money, and time to be congruent in asking others to invest their money and their time, time to become a business partner, time to collaborate, time to work for you, money to be able to make money, to be able to invest into yourself in all as aspects of your life. You've got to start seeing yourself as a priority. You've got to start seeing yourself as the number one asset. You've got to start seeing yourself as the investable asset that appreciates and grows in value. And as you get older, I'm noticing this more and more and more, that the more money people make, the older that they get, they start to get more gun shy on themselves. They start to go, when you're younger, you go, hey, yeah, I want to go on, I want to go on this experience. I want to go on this holiday. I want to go on experience. I want to go relax. I want to go do this. But then as we get older, we start to go, hang on a second. Oh, I can't because of this. I can't get a massage because, oh my gosh, I can't because who's going to, my kids might, you know, blow up. In, in, in 20 minutes of not being there when they've been looked after by your friend or grandparent or, you know, you don't think about it and say, okay, I'm the asset. I've got to look after me. So listen, of all the things that I talk to you about and I teach you about, one of my biggest lessons I've ever learned is investing in me. One of the biggest lessons I've ever learned is about investing in me in every aspect. And I don't just mean money. Do I spend money on myself? Absolutely. I spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year on mentors, on advisors, on coaches, on a board of advisors, and even senior people to look over different parts of my companies that, that give me advice because that is what I need to do. I need those people. So if there's a challenge, right? If there's a challenge, I need to be able to get on the phone and speak to my board of advisors. I need to be able to have the people I need to be able to have in my corner. So listen, you've got to invest in the right people around you, even eating healthier or exercising and having time for you, not just a you know self-care Sunday or whatever it may be, the new catchphrase. Why just Sundays, right? Looking after yourself and investing in you. Listen to me. If you're in business and you're asking somebody to work for you, or you're asking someone to buy from you, or you're asking somebody to do business with you'll collaborate with you and you're not willing to invest into yourself, why the fuck would anybody else want to buy from you or invest into you time or money? If you can't do it to yourself, get congruent. Get congruent with who you are. Get congruent with the message that you have and get congruent with being in business and knowing that you are the fucking asset because I don't care how many assets that you build. You are the center of your universe when it comes to entrepreneurship. It all comes off you. You're the center of your universe. 
everything. If you don't feel great, if you feel that you're not on the right track, if you don't have the right people around you, you don't have the right advisors, or you're not eating healthy, or you're not putting the right time into you, and you've got to make a decision that's going to impact one of your companies, then guess what? You're going to make a poor decision because you've not invested in you. And also, isn't it incongruent to say to somebody, yeah, you should buy from me. Yeah, you should buy from us. Yeah, you should do this. Yeah, you should work for me. Yeah, you should work for us. Yeah, we should go into partnership together. Yeah, we should do that. But then you're not being congruent with that same message. Listen, there's lots of messages I can share with you about success. Here's one of them. I've never met a successful person that doesn't invest in themselves in every aspect that they can find. Invest into experience. Invest into, into health and vitality. Invest into relationships. Invest into learning and knowledge. Invest into accountability. Invest into people that kick them in the ass and call them on their bullshit. Listen, if you're not going to invest into yourself, why the fuck would anybody want to invest time and money into you? Period. You've got to get a healthy relationship with everything from buying books to doing courses to getting coaches to eating the healthy stuff to, to, to getting a massage to getting a fucking facial. I don't know. I don't care. But you need to do something to make sure you're investing in you. So when you say to somebody and they say, hey, should we partner with you? You look them dead in the eye and say, you know what? You know why you should partner with me? Because if I was you, I would want to work with someone like me. Because I know that I, I keep myself focused, I keep myself in shape, in business, I'm driven to where I want to go, and I invest into me. And that's why I want you to invest into me too. That is called being fucking congruent. That is called being congruent. So if you want people to invest in your company, buy from you, work with you, collaborate with you, work for you, look at your company, you know, click on your ad be a part of what you do, guess what? You need to be the first person that says, I'm gonna invest in you. I'm gonna invest in me, and you're gonna invest in what I do. Why? This is not just about raising capital, right? Right, but I'll, talk to you, I'll give you a raising capital example. I had someone that was pitching to me the other day, and they said to me, hey, listen, um, I want you to invest in my business, and I'm like, cool, okay, tell me who your mentors are. Don't have any. Tell me what sort of books you read. I'm not really into that stuff. Okay, um, tell me what role you're gonna have in the business. I wanna raise enough money so I can hire someone to replace myself so I can work on some other projects. Bang, I'm out, <laughs> right? You don't wanna work in the business, really. You wanna hire somebody else to do it. You're not gonna invest your time into it. You don't invest your time into growing. You don't invest your time into yourself. You're not prioritizing yourself. Why the fuck would I wanna give you my money and my time? No chance, or in the words, of my uh, Eastern European wife, Nima Chancer. Now, I don't know if that's Macedonian, uh, Aromanian, uh, Yugoslavian, but I'm just gonna say this, Nema Chancer. That means no chance. And I like that, it actually sounds pretty good too. Nema Chancer, Nema Chancer, I'm investing into that person. My, my, my wife will be very excited that I brought that into this conversation today. No chance, why the fuck would I do that? Why, why would I do that? So listen, you have to be the shiny example of investing in yourself. And can I tell you something? I'm a father. I've got two kids, right? Let me tell you something. I'm showing my kids that they need to invest into themselves too. I'm showing my kids that they're worth it. I'm showing my kids that they are absolutely worth investing in themselves because dad's investing in himself. Dad's prioritizing stuff within him. Dad's, you know, my kids are up this morning and dad's come back from an extra long run, an extra long workout. Like, dad, why do you work out every day? And I say, you know why? Because I'm investing in me to make sure I can run really fast. My daughter's watching that. You know, she's seven yet. She's not going to be going to the gym and stuff yet, but she's looking at some habits that she needs to be building up. To look at the habits. I'm investing in me. I'm investing in me. My daughter knows that I've got mentors. She knows I've got coaches. She knows I've got advisors and people that I call and say, hey, what do you think about this? Why do I have that? Because I invest in me. Why do we eat healthy things? Because we invest in us. Why do we read books? Because we invest in ourselves. Listen to me. This is not just about you investing in yourself to go out there and get someone to buy into your company. This is about you getting really congruent with yourself and getting congruent with who you are and asking people to be a part of who you are in every situation, working for you, buying from you, in every fucking point. You have to invest in you, because if you won't, why the hell would anybody would ever give you any money? 
Why would they ever want to give you their time if you can't give yourself money and if you can't give yourself time? It's time to invest in you. This is the time. Make sense? Good. Much love to every single one of you. Go kick some butt. I'll see you tomorrow morning for another rise together. Love and hanging out with you guys. And uh, hey, keep smiling, keep kicking some butt. And I'll see you at 8 a.m. to crush it once more. If you're going to live a life, you may as well live a life by design and not by default. Look after yourselves. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye.